looks like my canvas is actually on fire right now. Oh my goodness me. everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video is another resin video. I've been wanting to get my teeth stuck into another bit of resin ever since I tried the first resin video. But this time it's a little bit more fluid, go with the flow, no rules, do what you want kind of video. I did kind of think that after trying to follow a demo, I wasn't very good and I kind of lost patience and ended up just doing what I wanted and I think that's probably where my resin is going to go. If I do more resin, it's definitely going to be no rules, just do it. So this video I thought I would just show you what I made. So this is a canvas that I just kind of had a go at. I was trying to do a beach scene, it really didn't work out. I was trying to do those waves, you know those waves? It didn't work out but again I'm a beginner so I was just trying watching loads of videos trying to get the technique right yeah yeah I couldn't <laughs> so I lost patience and I was like oh I'm just gonna do what I want and this was the result and I have to say I am a little bit in love with it so I thought I would do a similar kind of video just mix the resin up pour it on hope for the best swish it around throw some stuff on there and just basically see what we can come up with and yeah um most of you guys agreed so that is what today's video is going to be about so i went ahead and ordered a ton of these silicon cups they are super squishy and basically after i use it i'm going to leave the stick in there and i'll be able to just peel it out and reuse and reuse and reuse i also got these massive measuring cups from glass cast resin she told me they were big but they're massive but i think they're just ideal because again they're not disposable they're reusable they're made from a specific material which allows me to pull the resin straight out and that is what i'm going to be using for my mixes so these are my pigments i got from resin 8 if you look them up on um, Instagram you'll be able to see them focus camera doesn't want to focus resin and then the number eight so that's a company I got like a beach kit and in that beach kit I got deep sea blue I got some light blue I got some mica powder mica powder sorry in kingfisher oh, <laughs> almost ice and I also got some opaque um, white pigment in that kit. So these are the colours that I'm going to be using to kind of recreate what I did. I also want this to go on the wall in my living room. So I am going to try. I don't know how successful or unsuccessful it will be, but we'll have a go together. I'm going to try and get some copper paint in there as well. Um, just because I'm loving the copper. And I might even add some sequins. That's it. Some gems. So other tools you will need if you are going to do resin, these are so important for safety. You need to wear a face mask to protect you when you actually use a heat gun or any heat tool on resin. It will emit a, a vapour that you cannot see and it is dangerous so make sure you've got your face mask on and that you're doing it in a well ventilated area i.e. you've got all the windows and doors open. While I'm talking, if anybody knows of any silicon gloves, so basically I want really tight to the hand so that I can still really use both my hands and manipulate what I need to manipulate but in silicon so that I don't have to use disposable gloves because that pains me. So this one is different again. By weight, this is 100 resin to 50 hardener. In here I've got 200 grams of the resin, 100 grams of the hard nut. <laughs> I'm going to stir this now for a good five minutes because there's so much of it. They do recommend anywhere between three and five so I will go ahead and do that. I've poured the resin into all of the individual silicon containers. I really just want to show you from this angle this is pretty much how much I got. I've also got a little bit left over which is just clear. Some transparent pigment here which is light blue I'm just gonna put a drop literally a drop I've got a very old battered towel sitting here next to me I'm just gonna wipe the lid before closing it from the range I got a pack of three 
solid art boards. Um, I think they were two or three pounds. I have painted them with some white acrylic just to give them a flatter coat. I'm putting them on some paper cups because when it drips down, I don't want it all over. And yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be sitting on the floor for this one. And basically, we're just gonna have fun, pour some, have a play around, and yeah, see where it gets us. gonna leave it there I am over the moon with the way the copper spray has gone on now obviously I don't know how that's gonna dry because I have never tried it before <laughs> I just think it looks like a burning earth's crust I absolutely love it I absolutely love it like literally look it looks like my canvas is actually on fire right now oh my goodness me okay that's a revelation if it dries then brilliant then I'm absolutely gonna roll with that on a few more canvases but let me know what you think so i was contemplating adding glitter figured i wouldn't but yeah this is the finished result it kind of swirls from here down to here almost inspired by um sue finley she's got a channel on here she's amazing but um yeah i wanted two canvases that kind of flowed from one to the other so i've added those decorative crystals they were just from the range for the wedding decorative table decor bits and bobs that you throw around love those i cannot get over that copper spray literally look at that let me see if i can get close up i mean 
just wow. I mean, all I can say is wow. There's some people at home that are probably resin professionals thinking, Claire, what have you done? That's not going to dry. But we shall see. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. That's what I love about this. So yeah, added it all there. I feel like there's a bit of a gap here. But I did run out of resin, which is good. Um, there is some resin left over on the plastic underneath. Now, the plastic I have underneath um, is also reusable. So I can just peel that off when it's dry. Oh my god, I'm actually in love so guys, if you follow me over on Instagram at Claire's Crafty Corner, I am going to post a picture of this baby when it's dry, maybe do a little video. Um, but I also will post a picture on my community tab just to let you know how it worked out. I absolutely love it. I think I'm definitely more of a do what you want, no rules, go with the flow kind of person <laughs> than I am following set instructions. <gasps> I, I'm in love with this right here. This, look at this. I uh, honestly anyway Claire shut up everyone's thinking it so I am gonna leave you with this and I hope you enjoyed the video um I almost got some wave action going on here this is what I was trying to do and I couldn't even do it and when I wasn't trying to do it uh, out came the waves so super super happy over the moon oh my goodness me yeah so excited Thank you so much for watching. Again, this isn't a resin channel, but every now and again I might pop up with some resin. <laughs> and thank you to all my new subscribers. If you like what you see, go ahead, subscribe. Click that bell because, you know, you want to hear me more. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much. I proper appreciate every single one of you. Bye, guys.